Mac OS Monterey is finally here. Hi, I'm Kyle, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the most long awaited features to arrive on the Mac OS platform, particularly from a Mac admin's perspective. iOS has had this feature since its inception, but finally it is here on the Mac OS platform, that is, erase all contents and settings. In this video, we're going to explore how this new feature looks, as well as how you may want to restrict it within your environment. Before we begin, we must first cover the requirements to use the Erase Contents and Settings feature. The requirements are that the macOS device must be running the operating system Monterey or above, and this is only accessible on the T2 chip machines if running Intel or on Apple Silicon devices, that being M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max. Now, let's take a look at the user experience when using the Erase Contents and Settings feature within macOS Monterey. Now that you have macOS Monterey installed on your machine, it's now time to take a look at how you can utilize the Erase All Contents and Settings feature. To use Erase All Contents and Settings, open up System Preferences. It's not a preference pane, however, it lives within the menu bar. So select System Preferences, and then from the drop-down bar, you'll see Erase All Contents and Settings. Select that. The Erase Assistant will then appear and you'll be prompted to enter in an admin password. The Erase Assistant will then produce a window displaying all the users that will be impacted if you were to continue through with the process. Review this carefully before you proceed. If you are still willing to proceed, select Continue in the bottom right hand corner. You'll be then shown this dialog box, please read it carefully. From here, this is your last chance to exit if you do not wish to proceed. Once you hit all Erase content and settings, the machine will go down for a reboot. You will then see the Apple logo come up and the machine may restart a couple of times. It's worth noting that I'm using a VM for this demo. In my testing so far with a real machine, uh, in between the machine rebooting and landing at the hello screen, you are required to activate the Mac. That's a simple process of connecting to the internet and activating the Mac and then it will reboot and the machine will be at the hello screen. Once you're here, you and your users should be fairly familiar with this process. Uh, you will select continue and go through the setup assistant as you normally would. If the device is rolled into automated device enrollment, it will then automatically enroll into your MDM solution. Having the ability to erase all contents and settings within the system's preferences is a great advantage for users. However, as a Mac admin like myself, you may not want your users to have the ability to erase all contents and settings. This is particularly true in educational areas or environments where Macs are shared and not one-to-one. -one. Apple has updated their MDM framework to include a restriction to disallow the ability for end users to see erase contents and settings. Once this is enabled, it removes the UI option from system preferences. As this is built into the MDM framework, your MDM solutions provider must update their solution to take advantage of this new restriction. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to show what this looks like to be deployed from an MDM solution such as Jamf and how that looks for the end user. So what I have here is my VM enrolled into Jamf. For this demo, we're going to be using Jamf. Um, you can see that I'm just going in system preferences in here and displaying that it is enrolled in an MDM solution. And that you can see Erase All Contents and Settings is offered to my end users. So we're just going to go into Jamf here and create a new configuration profile. I'm going to give that a name of Disable uh, Erase and All Contents Settings. On the right hand side, we'll scroll down to Restrictions. Now the restrictions uh, lives within the functionality tab, so up in the top right of that configuration profile, just select functionality. Then scroll all the way to the bottom as it's the third last configuration there. Just uncheck it to disallow erase all contents and settings for Mac OS Monterey devices. Select. I'm now going to scope that to my Monterey test device here. I'm just going to select my device, select add, then save. What you'll notice is that the dock will kill and relaunch. I'm also going to check the logs to ensure that it's successfully deployed. You can see the status is completed. Minimize out of Jamf, open up system preferences, triple check that it's installed by going into the profiles and locating disable ECS. And then 
confirming that it actually worked. You'll notice that erase all contents and settings up in the top left is no longer available for my users. I'm now going to jump back into GMF Pro, unscope it, and ensure that erase all content and settings is available for my users to use. So remove the device, distribute it back to all machines, and then select save. You see the dock relaunches, I minimize JAMF, open system preferences back up, go to its expected location, and we can see that arrays all contents and settings is back. Now here comes one of my favorite changes within macOS Monterey with this feature. Previously, when you send a wipe device command from an MDM solution, you were required to rebuild the OS on the machine. For an end user, that experience is often daunting. And for a Mac admin, rebuilding the OS meant deploying the full Mac OS installer as well as a script to target the start to install binary to use the flag erase and install. Now, on Mac OS Monterey, when you send a wipe device command from an MDM, it invokes the same workflow as if the end user was starting it from within system preferences. As it's coming from an MDM solution, there is no admin password required to be entered, providing that the machine has submitted its bootstrap token to the MDM. It is supervised. It is either a T2 chip device or an Apple Silicon device, and is obviously running macOS Monterey. Let's now take a look at how that looks for the end user and, and the Mac admin. Let's take a look at how the wipe command now behaves in Monterey. I'm just going to open up GMF Pro, go to computers and find this machine that's been enrolled, Monterey Test. Once selected, I'm going to go to the management tab up the top there, select that. Now within my management commands, I'll select wipe computer. Once you select wipe computer, you'll be asked to enter in a passcode. Now you won't be needing this passcode on the other side of the reboot. However, this is still present as an option because this command can also be sent to Mac OS, Big Sur devices and less, where reactivating the Mac will require a passcode to be entered. But for Mac OS Monterey and above, the password is not required. Once the command has been accepted and gone through, the user experience is the same as using the erase all content and setting command via system preferences. The machine will go down for a reboot, you'll see the Apple logo, progression bar, proceed to activate the Mac, and then you'll be back at the Hello OS screen. From there, you can select the language you require and go through the automated device enrollment steps within the setup assistant. Now, how can you put all of what I've shown you today together? Well, for example, you could restrict the arrays and content settings feature within macOS Monterey, but still want either your IT department or your end users to in invoke and erase all contents and settings. Now, how you can do that is set up a self-service policy with a script. The script will then call the MDM wipe command, which will then invoke the erase all contents and settings process. As you can see on screen, I have an example of this script and the code that you would need to send this via an API with Jamf. Within the next slide is going to be a QR code with a link to our GitHub that will have the full example of this script that you can plug straight into your Jamf Pro instance and use while updating a few variables. The script also includes a clause to prompt users to whether or not they really want to continue with this process and if they do not, a chance to bail out before they submit their final choice to invoke the wipe device command. And that's everything I believe you should know as a Mac admin about the arrays or contents and settings feature within Mac OS Monterey. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or you can reach out to us at maccenter.com.au.